Rick joined, <laughs> did his first gig with us at the Welcome Inn in, um, in Elton. There's a plaque up somewhere around here that says we did our first gig there. Skips the 62 one, but never mind. We got our first recording contract in 66. We got that because I was asked to do a cover, uh, but the, co the cover I arranged was a Shirley Bassey number called uh, I Were Nothing. Um, well, I don't know. I just sort of got into this little shuffle thing. I arranged it and I thought it was um, all right. So we put that into John Schroeder. He thought it was a great arrangement. Great. Stick around and meet the Spectres, and in particular, Francis Dominic Michael Nicholas Rossi, known to his friends, I'm glad to say, as Ross. Now, tell me something about the Spectres, Ross. Well, it's usually me and the uh, bass player, Alan, usually sing lead between yeah. us or harmonies, you know. Mm -hmm. Use the organist sometimes, you know, he is some use sometimes. <laughs> I see. Well, you've now made your, your first record. Why did you choose this number, I Who Have Nothing? Well, I, you know, you got records at home and just listen to them, you fancy. Mm -hmm. Do with them, so you do them, you know. But, but this was a, a hit for Shirley Bassey. Is yours very different? Yeah, well, quite different, yeah. I, I have nothing. I, I have no one. I adore you. Yeah, so the first one was I Who Have Nothing. The second one was a track of Alan Lancaster called Hurdy Gurdy Man which was great. And then we did a cover that John Schroeder had got by a band called the Blues Magoos. They knew how to have names in those days, didn't they? And they had a song called We Ain't Got Nothing Yet. And uh, I'd write almost but not quite there. And then Max Stick went out. It was a hit song. I have nothing. Hurdy Gurdy Man. We Ain't Got Nothing Yet. Almost but not quite there. And then we had the hit. I was uh, in the Carnaby Street and I saw Robin Gibb becoming the best dressed man of the year and I had this soundtrack in my in my ears for the next years and I I went to some record store and I and I, I kind of got the the charts with me and and somewhere in these top 10 there was status quo I cannot remember was it pictures of Magic Man or was it Ice and the Sun but it was these days pictures of Magic Man I always remember sitting in the coffee shop opposite Pie with Pat Barlow and John Schroeder saying, we've got to have this as a single. I think a track called Gentleman Joe's Sidewalk Cafe was, um, which was an awful, <laughs> awful song. And it's amazing if you think back, if that had been the A-side, we probably wouldn't be sitting here having this chat now. In fact, we definitely wouldn't. Well, pictures of Nightstick Men, of course. And I was only a kid. 